Hey, hey everybody, Z Garcia here. Today I'm going to be unboxing Brutal Fiduti's Dragons from Matago, a small card game, ages 8 and up, 3 to 6 players, 30 minutes, there you go. And I am going to assume it is a bluffing game because it's a Fiduti game. And Fiduti does a lot of bluffing games, so let's crack it open. Take a look what we've got in here. I'm going to assume dragons. But you never know, you know, you never know. Alright, what do we got? Ooh, hoo, hoo, it sounds like a whole lot of dragons. All right, first up, we've got rule books in a few different languages. There we go. The ad, we got some standees, some footsies here for those, and then some cardboard dragons. A few different cute dragons. Oh, this guy's chilling. These are very cute. <laughs> All right, let's see how this works. Let's punch one out, see the thickness, which is very nice, very nice thick cardboard. And I guess you put, you know, a footy or two on these and they stand up. So there you go. And the drawing is actually of the back of the same image. That's pretty cool. I like that. So I want to see the back of the, the, the chubbier guy. Where's he at? He's cute. This guy's killed. Dragon butt. <laughs> We've got a score sheet, score pad rather. There we go, showing you all the things I guess you're going for. You can write down, very nice, double sided too. And then cards, and the inside of the board is pretty cool, of the box. All right, so we've got in here a couple of decks of cards. Let's crack these open and take a look at them. All right, so cards. I always like to check out my card quality. They have that kind of shiny finish, which I don't really like very much. As you can see, it catches the light a lot. Um, they're not linen finish. They're definitely cardboardy, but they're not too thin. I think they would shuffle okay. Let's see. Yeah, they shuffle all right. They're not too bad. And then they show you a bunch of different things, of course, that I guess you are collecting and they're upside down also. So there you go, pretty simple card design on these, but easy to tell apart, so that's good. Okay, and then the other deck over here, let's see what this one's got. If I can open it. Okay, more thingies, and then some more thingies. It's all the same. Okay, it's all just the same style of card anyway. I thought I saw some different backs. Nope, they're all the same, just these player aids have a different back. And so the player aid lets us know, there we go, uh, how you score victory points. So the coins are one, those bracelets I guess are seven, but if you have more than one, they're nothing. Armor, you have to get a whole set, it looks like. These groupings, maximum of those things is 12 points. Uh, and then these you multiply. All right, there you go. And then, so it's a set collection game is what it sounds like. And so how do you collect those sets? Let's find out. Reveal as many cards as there are players. Face up, youngest player goes. On your turn, you draw one and add it to your treasure pile or you yeah, one of the following two actions, okay. Draw a card, add it to your treasure pile, or place your dragon on a treasure pile. If you draw a card, you reveal the first one from the deck, place it face up on the treasure pile of your choice. So one of these. So you're pushing up the piles, it looks like, until you finally decide, I'm claiming this one. And then uh, when all players except one have chosen a pile, the last remaining player has to take the leftover pile. It's a very simple sort of set collection game. So yeah, you're simultaneously growing them and pushing your luck a little bit. And when you finally feel like, okay, I don't want anybody else to jump on this one, I want it, you put your dragon out there and the last player just gets the last one. That's it, you continue. Elimination, what's that about? Players must first count how many animals they have before scoring in a three or four player game. A player who has the fewest is eliminated, cannot win. Oh my goodness. 
And then uh, in a game with even more people, whoever has the fewest cows and sheep separately are out. Whew. And then you score, like I said, according to the, that uh, guide. So very, very straightforward set collection card game. Very pretty. Sounds very simple, though. So I'm curious to see if that very uh, basic sort of mechanism works for a full game, you know, if it's just doing the one very simple thing, or if it gets stale throughout the play. As it is right now, I already understand the game. There's not a whole lot to it. So I am curious to see if that goes over well. There you go. That is Dragons from Bruno Fiduti. Thanks for checking this out with me. I'll see you on the next one.